today, it's all about the size of my neck. The bigger it goes, the better we're gonna do. It's already at what we would probably call an unnatural length, but when you compare it to some of the other people here, we've got a little ways to go. We're currently getting 0.1 studs per second, which is the growth of our neck, but if we complete games based on our neck length, we can increase that. Like, we need a 28 to get through here, but not too much, so we can go over that, this one back to zero, so we fit through the shapely hole, we're good at that one. Then at this one, we've got to do what's called a snap jump, so when we get close, we jump and press uh, that, and it's supposed to pull us up to our head, and we can get over the wall. And then there's games like this, where we have to snap jump all the way to the top, but that wouldn't actually be that hard to do. It's just kind of time consuming, we gotta raise our head, then we gotta go and jump and give ourselves a boost, we might be able to make it to the top as is. Or we might be stuck here waiting a little while. Okay, we barely made that. We've got a few more layers to go were we to make it. But I, get a, I do get a nice view of all the other games from here. So let's try this one again. Snap jump. Okay, you gotta do that really close to the wall. Conveniently though, you freeze right before that. So you can go over there. 45 studs, which would be about that big. We'll go 47. Then we got a snap jump at 52. Oh, we're not quite big enough. We might have to cheese this a little bit. Ready, go. Jump and oh, so close. Right now I feel like this guy. Okay, I've got one more jump to make for the big victory. Press R right about here, and we cleared it. One victory for us. Give me that thing. One win. So now I get an extra uh, studs per second boost, at least for a few seconds, and then we're back to our baseline. It looks like we can buy our first pet for two wins, so I just need to win that game one more time. And there's a cool ocean I want to cross, but we're going to need a longer neck to do it, because right now we drown. This jump might be a little bit close, given that I don't almost have enough clearance to get over. Uh, that didn't count? Where's the hitbox on that? Okay, cleared the stupid wall, got this second big head. One more win. So now we get a basic egg for a basic person. What's it gonna be? A dog. A common dog. Which gave us an extra 0.01 studs per second. Which makes me think there's actually a better way to do this. Okay, we're once again going to use our snap jump to see how far up the wall we can get. We have about 50 uh, stud length. It's probably not going to be enough to reach the top, but it's got to be closer. Uh, closer to 80 now. This might almost do the trick. Ooh, it might be closer to 100 before we get to the top. 90 is enough to get me up that step, but that's definitely got to be 100 up there. But I can see the big giraffe over there and some kind of laser experiment going on up there. And there's definitely some big tall stuff in the sky. I maybe got distracted for a second and this happened. Our neck can be this tall, which is actually a good deal of the way up the tower without even leaving the ground. Makes it a little bit hard to navigate from here, but at least we can see the height of uh, the difficulty. So that's one jump and we're a little bit far up from the wall, but you get the idea. We're going to be able to scale this thing in no time at all. Uh, even from there, we can skip the last like two steps because they're probably like 100 each. So now we get another win. We probably could have used better our long neck there, but I'll take the two wins because then we get another pet anyway. And that's really what it's all about. I just want a friend. We got a Doog, which may not have made any difference to my studs per second. I also bought better luck for pets, so I'm not really sure how I ended up with another dog. But it is what it is. I've now waited so long, I have 168.5 studs. And it seems like it wouldn't take that long to make that, but I actually had a few days to have food poisoning in between then and now, so it actually took quite a while, but we're going to pick up right where we left off. By trying to complete the wall jump, we're just going to jump up again and again and again, and see where that can get us. Because I know uh, 173 should get us to the top of this for another few wins, for hopefully another pet. That was more than enough. Give me that thing. One more basic egg for one more basic idiot. This time we got a rat, which is uncommon. I would assume they're already all equipped the best, so we're up to 0.13 studs per second, which is still... Very slow. And because this so far is quite slow, we're going to make sure we can have an extra two pets equipped, despite the fact we don't have two more. Then maybe actually two times activity wins and neck growth, just for the sake of actually making some progress here today. We need a neck that can touch the end of the universe. Maybe that should be our goal today. We're going to have a neck so long that we put our head outside the universe to see what's out there. We can actually watch it grow in real time now. If I keep pressing E, it keeps pushing, putting us to our max height. I gotta get to the top of that wall. So for this one, apparently we only need 50 neck length. I'm not really sure how this works. You snap jump to get to the platform, I think is what it says. So you gotta kind of navigate along here. Uh, I think there's probably an easier way to do this, but I don't really know it offhand. So we're just gonna kind of do that. And then we're gonna tread along here. 
We could probably just make this yeah, never mind. Okay, this time we're gonna go actually uh proper neck jump. Gotta do that a few more times, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. The hardest part is knowing where to land, because you don't really have a top-down view properly. You're kind of estimating where you're landing. Luckily, guessing and estimating is a large part of my life in general. Now we gotta keep our head above the water but below the spikes. That seems reasonable enough. So we go down there, we just go up a little bit, and camera angles are probably the hardest part of this. If we go down a little bit, this one's just time consuming and annoying. Uh, this one we've got to go just a little bit higher but we've also got to be careful to navigate through the gap something like maybe we should zoom in a little bit that's easier then i think we can't touch the red part so we got to go like this then i think we can just jump there and jump there uh this one i'm not gonna risk we've made it too far slow and steady wins the race now oh no i don't know what i just touched okay well um that one takes a long time so we're gonna take a look at this one down here this one gets us eight wins. It's a pretty hard difficulty, but we'll see how far we can get with a 90.82 neck length, which is not very far at all. We're probably going to need at least 200 for that one. Though to go across here, 95 studs or more low. Uh oh, didn't mean to do that already. It's painful being this dumb, but we have 101, so we should be able to just, uh, moving ramp our way across that. Our head is above the water. We look very happy. We are the best little giraffe there ever was. Mega Skyscraper is 20 wins. I don't think we're going to get to the top of that. There is a pretty giraffe. There's hole in the wall here. There's also a better egg, a jungle egg. We need 15 wins for that. We definitely don't have 15 wins. So let's see if we can go through this. This is only three wins. This should be easy. It's a... Uh... Okay, this one moves pretty quick. 45 studs going up. Snap jump. So we're going way up. Then we got to press that. Ooh, I might have mistimed that. I'm going to blame the controls. That has nothing to do whatsoever with my skills. It just takes a long time to get the uh, trophies on this side. So it's weird you have to save up for so long to get over here. Okay, we're going to do a bigger snap jump and got it. And we're going to the top. Whoops. Uh, all the way up, please. Apparently you can sit here. I just don't know why my head wasn't going all the way up. Snap jump 130. Oh, you can actually sit here because it's not red on the bottom. So we're going to wait for 130 and then we're going over. The problem now is I'm stuck against the wall, so if I go up... Oh, I can still do this. Okay, perfect. So we'll snap jump, and then we gotta stay on zero studs. And then we gotta go way up. 105. Can we make it through? Where are we? Yep, just barely. For all that incredible stress, we're gonna get 6 wins times 2. 12. And then we get a 44 second boost, where we can use it to stress ourselves out with something new. A goose pet. I honestly thought that'd be a lot more expensive. I'll take one of those. Why not? So now I've got four pets equipped. That puts me up to 0.4 studs per second, which is way ahead of where we just were. But I did also buy my progress. So how many times can I buy this goose? Maybe we can just totally break things by just continually buying things we're not really supposed to buy. That actually made a difference. 0.55 studs per second. So this tower is obviously at least 1400 studs tall. There's a guy up there, probably him, who's 1,400 studs away. You can actually do the math to figure out how big those are. I'm too lazy, but we need to be way taller to finish that. So let's take our five good pets and cruise across the ocean again. Trying to find the game that's most efficient, which if we were much stronger would be this one, but I don't know how to get to the top of that. There's a little thing right here, actually. For now, we're just kind of sitting here waiting while we inch incrementally taller. What we definitely need is one of these for 15 wins, so we need another uh, 9 to get there. But at the rate of our growth, we should be able to get some easy wins somewhere else. I'm just really curious as to what this thing is. Now that I look at it, I see it's actually a window, so I don't think we're going to be able to get in there. We just observe it. But we'll take a nice look. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm just uh, growing past your window for a second to see what you're up to. So we'll walk our very tall selves over to this... Uh, medium skyscraper we'll call it that'll give us eight wins i think times two so that'll give us what we need for a better pet so let's see how far the current uh, about 200 stud neck length will get us i'm hoping actually quite a ways up here so far so good we're up to the purple zone we're just in okay we're into a different purple zone maybe just probably not this one though we only got another few to go but that also might be like 300 studs by the top but we do get a nice view. There's a coming soon zone that we're going to get to see. We've done that one already. We've done this one. That one's annoying, so we're not doing it anymore. And when you zoom out, you really feel how short we are still for doing this tower. So I'm going to let this run for a couple minutes. 
Okay, maybe a minor change of plans. We're up to 413 studs. We're still not even to the next level. We are way up here though. And for the sake of doing something ridiculous today, we're going to have to go ahead and buy a little net length. I don't love doing this either, but for the sake of uh, results, we're going to. So that was an extra 100 length. That didn't even get us to the next one. So let's try 500 net length. When in doubt, we just pay for things to escalate. Unreasonably so at times. So we're now 1,030 tall. Oh, I didn't realize I could extend actually. So that was kind of dumb. But with a 1,030 far, wow, can we not actually reach the next level yet? That's, um... Okay, this wall is ridiculously hard. I was sitting here thinking this would take like five minutes to be able to just naturally do. So we're gonna have to buy a thousand neck length. We now have a 2,000 tall neck. We still can't do it. What? How do you get to the top of this? You buy more neck. That's how. You just keep going and going. We will not be defeated. Okay, I might have done the neck thing wrong again. When you snap jump, it takes you... Okay, yeah, I was wrong. We, <laughs> we have a long neck now at least. Well, rumor is the neck is still growing today. What is that? There's something up in the sky. What, what is that? How do we get there? I know I wanted to get to the top of this, but I'm curious as to what that is. Can we get there? Okay, well, for now, uh, we're going to do this ridiculous jump. Try and land on this. I think we got it. Directly. We're going to take those wins for whatever reason. Then I'm really quick. Just going to buy a thousand neck length to start. Mostly just so we can cross the water. And buy ourselves a jungle egg. This will hopefully have something amazing in it. A rare axolotl. Which will take us from 0.55 studs per second up to 0.67 which might not sound like a lot, but that's actually pretty good. So we just need a few more of those pets. And yeah, I'm just shamelessly going to buy them at this point. Because I think it would actually take like weeks to do this naturally, and we don't have weeks. So we're just going to buy our progress. Okay, so we bought some more of these. I don't think I bought triple hatch. I don't really care because we at least have time to open these one at a time. It doesn't take that long. There's another axolotl. I think we can combine pets at some point too if we get enough of them. There's an uncommon monkey and a rare sleuth. If we equip best now, that gives us 0.88 studs per second. I don't know if there's pet combiners in this or not, but I'm still curious about that uh, floating platform in the sky. I think it's probably too far to jump to, but maybe if we have the height, we can actually jump onto it. In theory, if we're, if we're strong enough, like tall enough, we probably can do it. So we're just going to add a few thousand mech length at the cost of I don't know what. And still my beautiful floating platform eludes me. I gotta see what's up there. So every 1,000 length costs 548 Robux. I don't know what that actually costs, but I don't really care. I've got a golem. I really can't tell if it's getting closer or not. This is gonna drive me nuts. Like I'm over 10,000 studs tall at this point, which is pretty ridiculous. I've just purchased myself another 22,000 roughly Robux, which is hopefully enough to get to the top. Uh, that should mean we'll be able to buy another 44,000 length, which might seem excessive because it is, but there's a platform in the sky that I don't understand. Uh, another thing I never really noticed was a floating castle kind of in the middle of the area here. I should really look around more. The trick is, it's kind of floating over the water, so I'm going to have to do probably a really big snap jump to get there. Which is okay, because I've got a lot of uh, height I can use to do that. So let's go all the way to the top. Uh, this isn't our top. Hello? Why does our snap jump not take us all the way up? This is going to take, well, only a second. Anyways, we're going to snap jump and move forward. Not quite, but they're actually kind of close. All right, maybe a few more thousand and we can get there. I bought myself up to 31,000 uh, height. Uh, the game might physically limit you to 2,000. I just realized for the first time it kind of stops me there. So I might have just bought a lot of height for absolutely no reason at all. Did I at least make the leaderboard not even close? Hmm, well, it was a fun experiment. There's a platform in the sky, but we limit out at 2,000 physical heights, so yeah, whatever.